Oh, hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina, I am the honest vocal coach. So, welcome back. My name is Georgina, as I've just said, this is my YouTube channel. I do reactions to singers from all over the world, female, male, girl bands, boy bands, uh, uh, everything. Everything I try and cover, but I am a bit of a sucker for Eurovision and also girl bands. So today I'm going to continue with Eurovision. Before I do though, please subscribe. There are a load of you that watch my videos, but don't subscribe. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Right, so today's Dizzy the United Kingdom I finally got round to it I've been avoiding listening to it so I could do a proper reaction now I did spot that there's a vivo performance a live performance that he's done also we did it on Saturday night takeaway but I'm gonna go with the official video so I can kind of see a little bit more what it's supposed to be about so this is Dizzy Ollie Alexander of years and years although I've heard that years and years is just all in now. It used to be a band, like a few people, but now it's just him. Anyway, let's dive in. It sounds so years and years style straight away. You've got this big sort of electronic chords. Reminds me of the Pet Shop Boys kind of era. We're in some kind of house. It's at the bottom of the stairs. There's a place where we break the line okay there's a place where we break the line it's very deep bass going on with this uh very strong in the mix make it a circle redefined oh nice bit of agility ollie is known for that redefined beautiful gardens I do like his voice always been quite the fan of his vocals I think one of my favourite performances that he did was It's a Sin with Elton John on the piano. I think it was for the Brits. I think so. It was a brilliant performance. Won't you make me kisses? Will you... Ooh, okay. Uh, you make me dizzy from your kisses and the whole room is spinning. I love that. It's just a really clever way of doing videos i think the first time i ever saw it done was a jamiroquai video where the floor was moving and the whole room moved um it's just a very well done thing it's been done a lot since then but i think that was the first time i ever saw it done because i just assumed this was an actual place but it's not it's built on a truck that is spinning and turning and it's very clever really works with the essence of dizzy as well that it's spinning very good round and round the that means everything is stuck down it must be because if it spins or moves backwards and forwards uh things are going to drop off um although i'm getting the feeling it's just spinning at the moment not necessarily you know going on its side Maybe. This is rather good, isn't it? Oh, we might be in with a chance this year. Sam Ryder just absolutely nailed it. Unfortunately, last year's performance with Mae Muller, the vocals just weren't great on the night. There wasn't enough backing vocals in there. And it was just too sparse in areas of the song. The staging didn't come across all that well. So it was just an unfortunate thing. The song was pretty good. It just... You know, there's more to it than just the song being good. You've got to think about your stage and your performance and all of that stuff. Oh, it's quite tricky to watch, isn't it? And I think they're doing that on purpose, so you do feel dizzy with the whole essence of the song as it's spinning. Loving the harmonies. Oh, this is actually really good. So he's leapt out of that piece of set. We're into a different one. Looks like it's sand of a playground with some trees. So it's definitely built in a studio somewhere. How did me close? I think I got that wrong. Okay. Oh, change of outfit by the look of things. Time is frozen, all memories lost. So won't you make was he not meant to be lip syncing that first line there and then suddenly started to lip sync it? Was that, is, it, was that supposed to be like that? Take me kisses, will you take my hand and spin me? 
This is really good. This could do well. So yeah, it's definitely about a relationship, meeting someone and you're feeling so confused and all of your emotions are heightened. You you feel this connection with the person, you get the shivers, you get the butterflies, you feel dizzy, all of that. And I'm really getting this from the video. Nice one. Okay, so we've got a nice slow moment. Well, not slow, slow, but what I mean is we're breaking it down to more of a spoken kind of element. Reminds me of a recent track by Ariana, actually. She did the same thing. Um, also reminds me of the original artist who did it, which was Madonna uh, and Vogue. And then we get that drop in the song where she's literally talking it. It's clever. It really works. I don't stop. Forget how good this guy is, really, don't you? And how talented he is. This is great. Me dizzy from you. Ooh, now we've gone orchestral, slowed it down. Kisses, will you take my I'm so going to be cheering this on. This is a good one. For me, this is better than last year's. And is it as good as Sam Ryder? Uh, nice whiny twang going there. It's really good. Well done, Ollie. It's blooming brilliant. I really like it. I think the video really fits with the song. I feel it. I absolutely feel it. The electronic style of it, it's it's just a really cracking tune. Your vocals are excellent in it. I love the breakdown and then the rebuild again of the song. It's really well done. Production is great. The whole package is there for me. This could do really well. Whether it's a winner, not really sure. You can never really tell with Eurovision, can you? But that's really good. So let me know what you think of Ollie this year. Do you think it's a winner? If you want to make sure you see all of my videos, please subscribe, give me the thumbs up, ring the bell. That way you won't miss anything. I will be back very soon with the next. Bye loves. Shut up!